guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. So this is going to be a yang reading for May the 14th until the 21st. I hope you're doing well. Um, I think I'm going to do a split yin yang, so I'll just do the yang portion. Um, I think I'm going to use the call it Baron Reed Good Tarot. Then of course for the extended part of the reading I will um, pull three additional cards, the clarifiers. Okay, so let me pull the cards first. So this is how you feel about yourself, how you feel about the other, how you feel about the relationship, what your fears are, what you hope for, Oops. and what will be and one card from the bottom of the deck for the overall energy okay so let's look at the overall energy of the reading so the two of earth so this is shifting this is feeling unsteady feeling pulled in two different directions um, so I think I'm going to just read what the description is for this. So the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so it's um, pleasurable work, adaptability, balance between work and play. So, you know, this is being able to go out with your friends, connect with people, um, while at the same time be able to, you know, maintain your stability at work or, you know, at home, that kind of thing. So you have balance, but you're also feeling a change, feeling things occurring in your environment. You're being tugged on, but yet you're still maintaining balance. Okay, so how do you feel about yourself? The Ace of Air. So the Ace of Swords is all about clear clarity thought, um, making a decision, communication. So it says, destiny and fate, the law of karma, powerful forces of transformation at work and synchronicity. So, yeah, um, in the Twin Flame reading, there was this strong indication of illumination, you know, being conscious, aware. So I feel that strongly. That's how you feel about yourself. You, you're, there's this clarity arising within you. You're making choices. You're being uplifted like this horse. How do you feel about your yin? Patience. Wow. The, show, the patience card showed up uh as a final outcome, I think. Um, or no, it was in the near future on her side. And so there's a sense of her being still, um, not being able to move, feeling stuck. And But in that stillness or stuckness, there's this love that's in her heart with the Two of Cups and manifestation of that love in the future. So she is balanced. She, You see her as being patient, um, you know, being, having temperance, like te being temperate, not overindulging, just being there patiently waiting. And so there's a movement towards her and towards a relationship. So how do you feel about the relationship, the tower? So the tower is sudden disruption, change, um, things happen unexpectedly, but it's, it, this happens so that you can clear away, you know, the falseness and see the reality behind it. 
So this Ace of Swords, um, you're cutting through illusions. You're discovering some truths, illumination. But you feel like things are out of control in terms of relationship. You don't know. You want things to settle. You want um, transformation. Remember, you're bringing the death card into the relationship, into the union for the twin flame. So what do you fear? Love, the strength card. Um, you fear you won't have that connection, that tenderness. But that's how you view the feminine as being patient and intemperate. And, you know, feeling like you can go to her if you need, um, you know, a shoulder to cry on, if you need to be protected, you know, feel like you're being protected. So you fear that you may not have that connection again. So this is the strength card. or No, no, this is um, the lover's card. So it's very similar to the strength card in that we have a, a woman who is, who has tamed this beast, you know, and when you remove the mask, when you remove the outer, you know, 3D reality, there is only love that you feel with another. And it could be, you know, you know, just with your animal friend. So he fears he won't have that connection. Okay, so um, what does he want? fortune wheel. So the wheel of fortune is destiny. So you want things to change. You want the illusions to come down. You want clarity. You know, you, you feel imbalanced, but you view the feminine as being balanced. You want that harmony again. So you want things to change. You want things to turn in your favor. Right? And we, we see that decision made. You're cutting through barriers. Um, you're allowing transformation. You're not holding on to things. And you're trusting that destiny will bring you what you need. And what will be is the emperor. Absolutely beautiful. So there you are. What's really cool is that you're being represented as the lion, right? The king of the jungle. Um, and over here, you want that connect connectedness. You want to feel power. You know, his power is, comes from authenticity. So that's what will be. Everything will work out. Everything will come to fruition. Very beautiful. Okay, so let me pull one card from, call it Baron Reed. This is Wisdom of the Oracle. Whoa. What final messages do you have for the masculine? Oh, okay, so no place like home in reverse. I just want to check to see if I got the deck upside down. No, I don't. So in reverse. Sometimes I like the messages in reverse. Um, and it kind of delves a little deeper. What number is that? 50. So no place like home. Home, right, is feeling safe, feeling like this, feeling connected. Um, here we have almost like a tower-like displacement of your world turning upside down. So it says authenticity, coming home to yourself, feeling at home, arriving at a place where you just fit, being comfortable in your own skin. So the protection message. There are times when what is familiar and known is not the best choice. Human beings are memory-driven creatures, and we all look for certainty for what we know, even the qualities we seek in other people and in the external conditions are expressed in unhealthy ways. Avoid being too eager to find home. Choose something unfamiliar and trust that there you will find a new normal that supports your spirit. Remember, if you do what you did, um, you'll get what you got. 
do the opposite of what feels right, even if it's uncomfortable, because what feels right is really what feels familiar. And you will attract what you've drawn to the very things you don't want. You, you will attract or be drawn to the very things you don't want anymore. This time will not be any different unless you do something different. Okay, yeah, so this is pointing to wanting something different, wanting change, you know, wanting that comfort, that sense of home, and not being able to attain it, and feeling that things aren't right, and wanting to, to fix it, right? And so the message from the universe is to step out of your comfort zone, you know, like that horse, Pegasus, take flight, be airy, and it's, you know, it's all about consciousness. And so I feel that that's what you're doing. You know, the illusions about the relationship are coming down. Um, and you want to build, a, you know, a real firm, solid home that has that, that homey feel to it. You know, that sense of comfort and belonging. Okay, so um, I hope you enjoyed the reading and please like, share, uh, comment and subscribe. All right, cheers. All right, so welcome back to the extended part of the reading. So I'm going to use my cards as clarifiers. I'm going to pull three per position. Okay, so I might even do a little bit more reading as well. Okay, so the Ace of Swords. Whoa, what just flew out? Um, the Tower. Are you kidding me? I'll try and pick it up without bumping the camera, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Okay, there. <laughs> tower, twice. Very crazy. So I think I'm just going to put this up here because that was kind of the tower energy as well. But you're being asked to embrace the tower, to step out of your comfort zone. Sudden change, bolt of lightning. You never see things the same again. Your view is completely, you know, turned upside down. Okay, so what do you have to tell us? So we're begin beginning with how you feel about yourself as the Ace of Swords. Eight of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the Throat Chakra. Wow. Uh, the Five of Wands showed up in your past position, and the Throat Chakra showed up in the Union energy, what you're bringing into the Union. So there's this strong desire to communicate, but you feel that there are obstacles, things standing in your way. What you've been working towards suddenly feels like it's um, there's a lot of effort required. Right? What was moving forward in the past now feels like a burden. But, you know, remember that the main energy card is the Ace of Wands, so it's uplifting, it's airiness. Um, and this card is also about communication as well. So, I think what I want to do is just do a little bit of reading from the book. What was that number again? Oh, there is no number. Okay, so the Ace of Fire. So meaningful coincidences, coincidences and forces beyond my human control are operating in my life now and for the highest good. Things are happening now with great philosophy, velocity. I can expect quick results that will lead me forward with excellent information. Okay, so things are starting to speed up and we saw that in the near future as well with the eight of wands um, accelerated motion you're sending out these vibrations into the universe so this all has to do with karmic energy and that was a main theme as well especially on your side for the twin flame reading there's a desire to make things right again to overcome these challenges and pick up where things left off Okay, so the Temperance card is how you view the feminine. That's absolutely beautiful. Perspective shift, the ego again, and the Lover's card in the future. 
So we got three major arcanas here. So the perspective shift coming in the past, so you're seeing things differently. You surrendered, and in that surrender, there was a shift. And we saw that in the Twin Flame reading as well. So illumination was a major theme. Okay, and so you're starting to see things, the illusions come down in the reality. Now, the ego card is, you know, a chain, a codependent relationship, an addiction. Something is holding you back. So something is, you know, I'm, this is how you view the feminine. So maybe you view, you see that the feminine's ego um, or your ego has been an issue or is an issue. Like, you know, I can't view this patience card as anything other than beautiful because that's the main energy card. I feel that this energy the shift in perspective away from the ego into love um, is really coming from you. You know, there's where you've allowed the, the ego to control you in the past, you're coming out of that state and into more loving, um, deep soul connection in the future. Okay, so how do you view the, the relationship as the tower, so the magician, the base chakra, and the two wands? So magician in the past position is a synchronicity. So there was an activation, crown chakra activation. There was focused, conscious effort in manifesting a new reality or, you know, it, what I'm feeling is really pointing to that conscious shift a perspective shift so something opened up in you and as a result it's you know caused that reality to shift as well and so the bay chakra was showing up at the heart space um, for the twin flame union on both sides so this is lack right not feeling safe in the connection and so you know the tower is coming down and it makes you feel uncomfortable so that tower will open up a door in the future. Um, this is an expansion, more consciousness, uh, realizing you're connected to all. And, and so this is a new beginning. So there's like a ray of sunlight that comes forth. But it seems to me that you are aware of that that shift in perspective and so it's it really rocked your world it really awakened you okay so you fear love so let's just read that so the lovers card is coming in the future as well right so love or oneness in all of life there is only the illusion of separation in fact we are all reflections of one another when i make choices i tend to see things as ethereal or uh sorry it, it it ends with an or okay i tend to see things as ethereal or what if every choice i make is about an experience a sharing and exploring when I choose to see the unity in all things, magic abounds. Love is all around me. Spirit loves me unconditionally, and I can give and receive abundant love. So, you know, this is all about unity, seeing how you are connected to everything around you. And again, it's kind of reinforcing um, love being attracted to you, right? So it's all about unconditional love and attracting that into your life. You fear it, right? But it's the ego that is standing in your way. There's something that's stopping you from fully embracing the feminine. Wow, there's that three of swords again. The ace of wands and the page of swords. So three of swords, synchronicity, same card coming in from the past. It was the energy that you're bringing in from the past in terms of the union, what you're bringing into the union. So you're bringing this heartbreak, this pain. Um, 
you know, and so this is what you fear. You don't want this to manifest again. You know, you don't want to give your heart to somebody and then have it broken. So vulnerability is big here. So the Ace of Wands tells me that you're ready to move forward. The Ace of Wands is go like go time. So it's a new start, new beginning. You're, you're feeling ready for it. You want to reconnect. And then we have the two wands coming in the future. So that's walking through that door, opening yourself up to a new experience. And then the Page of Swords in the future is communica communication, clear, concise communication, or making a, a choice, having clarity of thought. Um, it's a new start, but you have this vision that's very clear. So what I see is thoughts that were hurting you, um, an awareness in the moment that leads to most likely you communicating, facing those fears. Eek, get in there. Okay, so what do you want is the Wheel of Fortune. I think it's a very short description, so I might as well just read it. Okay, so you want, so it says destiny meets synchronicity. There's that word again, synchronicity. Twice it's shown up. Um, so I am in awe to the experience, many meaningful coincidences that power, sorry, prove to me that spirit has my back. These lucky breaks and moments when things just turn out perfectly show how we're all connected. There's that all connected again, right? Um, I think the synchronicity showed up as well in the Twin Flame reading for the final message from the universe. Um, for the extended reading, it was being in the stream of thought, right? being connected to all, feeling that connection to all. So we see that expansion again. So let's see. My gamble will pay off when I trust my co creative partnership with spirit. My destiny is obvious to me now. Okay, so there we go. You realize what you want. Your destiny is clear to you. You know you want that this connection, right? And um, you're, you're moving into that clarity, that awareness. It's like you're having an epiphany right now. You're seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities that are waking you up, making you realize that you are a part of a divine connection with your mirror. Okay, so three cards, nine of pentacles, three of pentacles, and the nine of cups. Very interesting. In the feminine's reading, we had two nines, actually three nines surrounding her with the um, high priest in the center. So in the past, there was a nine of swords, and in the future was the nine of cups. So this is saying that your destiny is the same, that your wishes and dreams will be fulfilled. You have that common destiny, cool synchronicity showing up. So the Nine of Pentacles talks about independence, freedom, um, self-love, right? So what you want is to continue to generate stability and abundance. Uh, you want to enjoy life you want to go on trips you want you want to be free and the three of pentacles in the present position you know this card which showed up twice in the twin flame reading as a final outcome it was reach out you know and that reach out card was also coming in the future so now we see it in what you want you want stability you want a new solid foundation uh, there, built upon trust, built upon, um, you know, authenticity. And you feel that you're starting to sense that change, that the wheel is turning t in your direction because we already have that abundance flowing in from the past and you want it to continue to flow into your life. And what the universe is saying is that it will. Your dreams and wishes are coming true. You will be, you will have something to celebrate. Okay, so what will be is the final outcome is the Emperor. So Five of Swords, another synchronicity, Six of Cups, 
and the two of cups in the future another synchronicity so the five of swords in the past it came in the past as a foundation energy and reverse so it was like the energy was turned around the feminine was reflecting she's reflecting negative energy she's not she's not allowing herself to be a part of any kind of negative so now it's in the upright position coming in from the past so I feel that it was you perhaps that was projecting some negative energy towards the feminine and the feminine was turning it around um, or this could mean that you've been in conflict in the past and we have that conflict with the three swords um, which is heartbreak you know feeling like you've been working towards something and maybe it didn't manifest the way that it, you wanted to the illusions came down and from that change there was that perspective shift so the six of cups is um, also part of the final outcome so this is reunion somebody from your past coming back somebody from childhood somebody you may have pushed away or, or may have hurt you in the past and so maybe you're a little bit guarded but I feel that you are completely open to it because you are resolved as the Emperor the King you know the, the Lion King and so in the future position we have the two of cups so this is spiritual union right? it's mirroring the nine of cups the ten of cups the two of cups that was showing up quite a bit on the feminine side a happily ever after again reflecting that lovers right but it starts with you you don't feel safe and you are uh, you are the one who is ushering in that change and there's a sense of readiness for it because you've healed your wounds you're ready for a change definitely and and to open up and communicate okay so let me pull one card from I'm almost feeling oh show Zen you need a little bit more in depth final outcome so we had like I said no place like home in reverse okay no, feeling like you don't fit in but that's all an illusion those are thoughts in your mind right you're you're feeling that shift now and it, again it's pointing out that two pentacles that shift find, trying to find that balance traveling eight of wands so that card is what I was mentioning earlier the eight of wands is accelerated motion it's it's vibrant energy that's building so this is a message from the universe and it could also mean literal travel hold on I'll find it okay So, the tiny figure moving on the path through this beautiful landscape is not concerned about the goal. Here she knows the journey is the goal. The pilgrimage itself is the sacred place. Each step on the path is important in itself. Okay, so right away that reminds me of um, the final outcome that three of pentacles reach out. Remember I was talking about different levels, right? So. You know, it's a repeated theme, synchronicity. Each step is important. And so, again, we got that three of pentacles showing up right here. What you want is that stability to reach out. You want that wheel of fortune to click, you know, and come back around in a good way, and, and it will. So you're... You know, the universe is telling you to enjoy this journey, right? Don't try to to make destiny come towards you because when you do that, you know, um, I mentioned in the Twin Flame reading that it, it sours um, the outcome. When you want something, you end up pushing it away. Okay, so when this card appears in a reading, it indicates a time of movement and change. It may be a physical movement from one place to the next or an inner movement from one way of being to another. Okay, so that perspective shift, the tower, you know, moving from the inner to the outer and your outer world is, is you know, the illusions are coming down. Um, 
But whatever the case, this card promises that the going will be easy and will bring a sense of adventure and growth. There's no need to struggle or plan too much. The traveling card also reminds us to accept and embrace the new. Just as when we travel to another country with a different culture and environment than the one we are accustomed to. So right away again, that points back to that um, microcosmic seascape, whatever, you know, it's coming out of your shell, right? It might not feel comfortable, but that's what you need to do. You need to expand, you need to open up and, and go into new territories. So this attitude of openness and acceptance invites new friends and experiences into our lives, right? And so remember that oneness, that acceptance is what you desire, is what you fear, actually, right? And so that is what you need to embrace. Okay, so I do hope you enjoyed this, and please like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, see you next week.